Welcome back to The Mix, you guys. So we're still here with rapper and Louisiana ambassador D1 right now, and we're going to mix it up and talk about some news. So I'll just get us started right away. So unfortunately, one of our favorite artists and Chicago native Little Dirk had an up and down weekend that I couldn't even imagine. So we all know that Dirk and Lil Baby dropped a really dope album on Friday, but things took a turn when Lil Dirk's brother was shot and killed at a local Chicago nightclub. Not too many details of the incident have been released, but we do want to send our love and prayers to Dirk and his family as they deal with this loss. So D1, we discussed your relationship teaching Fred O'Bang who came to the show and talked about the loss of his friend and also your form former student, G Money. So what do you think has to change when it comes to gun violence and staying in the hood, especially if you become successful? Well, first and foremost, uh, when, when we start to love ourselves more, then we will see ourselves in our fellow brothers. So whenever we have a disagreement, we won't turn to saying, let me pull out a gun and kill this person. We'll, we'll look for alternative routes to, you know, resolve conflicts. So I think, first of all, it starts with self-love. But secondly, we have to be smart as far as how we, um, how we move. And what I mean is this, energy is real. So whatever we putting out there, we literally make, make ourselves a magnet for that type of energy. So when I'm at the gas station in New Orleans at two o'clock in the morning and somebody roll up on me and they, they cars all tinted out and, and they hop out the car, they could be hopping out about to put that thing on me too. But they hop out and they be like, D, man, I love your music, bro. And they come dap me off. And I'll be like, wow, like, that's a reflection that could have went a whole different way, but that's a reflection of the energy I try to put out there in the world. So I just think that if there's a teachable moment in this, it's that we need to we need to love ourselves so that we can resolve conflicts differently. But then also we need to be conscious of what energy we put out. I know Dirk's heart is broken right now. I lost my best friend to gun violence, but I'm urging Dirk and all of Dirk's affiliates don't retaliate in blood. Don't retaliate with violence because it's going to perpetuate the same cycle. So I'm begging them brothers to just, you know what I mean? Like, be smart with how they move right now. My heart is with them. Now, do you think that when you make it, should you move out of the hood? Or are you considered a sellout if you do that? No, you're considered smart if you move out the hood. Um, so, you know, I, like, like, to be impactful, you don't have to be living there. You feel me? Like, when you make it out, it's because you've done something great that has allowed you to make a lot of money, be successful so that you could move out. You didn't achieve all this success to stay in that same environment. You got to value your peace of mind. And you can't get peace of mind when you're in the same trenches that you grew up in. You might have to go tap back into it every now and then to get that inspiration. I go drive in the Goose in New Orleans East by my old hood whenever I'm back home just so that I could like feel where I grew up at. But guess what? I stay in the car. I drive through it, but I stay in the car. You feel me? And I, I don't want to still live right there. Like, no, I, I got to have peace of mind. So I feel like to have peace of mind, you can't still be in the trenches living. Yeah, that's that's real talk, because I think we're the only people as black people. Our culture, we say, well, you're not real if you still ain't in the streets. And then I go to my my white homies and my Chinese homies and friends who's different races. And they're like they get patted on the back for moving up and growing and it's like in our community it's like well if you didn't get it from the mud then you're not real so that's why i love what what's the mission you on because you're somebody who's actually very real but at the end of the day you don't got to fake to be something to get to where you're going and just like you said my pops always say there's fish out there that you could put in a different environment and they'll be this big and you put them in a different environment and they'll be this big so your environment is everything. Don't become a product of your environment. You got to have that vision of seeing beyond. Absolutely. Mm. 